product teams work with thousands of customers around the world. And almost every day when we have conversations with our customers, one of the most common problems we hear is that it's very challenging to make sense of all the different types of data coming into a system, and even more challenging to take action on that data. One of my colleagues, Aaron Shields, literally used to be a rocket scientist. He joined our product management team a few years ago, and he's been working on solving this problem for us when it comes to the platform. Aaron and the team of engineers that he works with have been working on solving this problem by using natural language to quickly discover across billions of rows of data the most important types of data that they're looking for, and to be able to have those billions of rows of data come back into relevant and meaningful segments that they can take action on immediately. Let's take a look at this next sneak that Aaron and his teams have been working on. Hi, I'm Aaron Shields, and I'm looking forward to showing you Project Segment Scout. It uses Adobe Experience Platform, along with data mining and natural language processing, to help you define segments more quickly and easily than ever before. For this sneak, I'm going to be playing a role of a marketer for 3M in the automotive group. We want to thank 3M for allowing us to showcase their brand here. And I want to show you a really cool experience we have on the 3M webpage for automotive enthusiasts. It's called the Studio. So here I am on the 3M website, and I'm going to launch the Studio so you guys can see what it looks like. What it allows me to do is choose a basic car type, I'll choose luxury in this case, and I can experiment now in three dimensions with different vehicle colors and textures um, to really add some personalized flair to my, to my ride here. I really love the uh, satin textures, especially these satin flips, because they change color depending on the angle that you look at. So I've got this really neat immersive 3D experience that I really want to drive people to. But I want to be careful now because I, I need to capture exactly the right people for this experience. And we have over 50 million people looking at our site, 240,000 different products to choose from. So narrowing it down to that exact right population is kind of a needle in haystack problem. So what you're looking at now is the Adobe Experience Platform Segment Builder. This is where I'm going to define the business rules to tell the system the attributes and behaviors of that target audience that I want to capture. And the way we capture this data is in a schema. And if I understand that schema, it's really easy for me to navigate and find what I'm looking for. For example, if I know that I'm looking for some analytics data, let's say uh, EVAR 114, which is product industry, I can navigate through this relatively simply and I can build the segments that I care about here in the center piece. And then over on the right, I'll have a meter that tells me kind of where I am or how many people I can expect to see. But the challenge that we run into here is that if I don't understand the data model, it becomes really difficult to find what I'm looking for, right? I won't find anything like wrap because that's the data that I'm looking for, not the title. So what I wanna show you now is a sneak called Segment Scout, which allows us to mine that data to produce exactly what you're looking for, uh, regardless of whether you understand where that's modeled or how it's been stored. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna type in vehicle wraps here. And what you'll see is that in a matter of seconds, Segment Scout is mined through that data, giving me similar terms I can look for, uh, and then also told me exactly how many results I'm getting based on my search criteria. So here, for example, I've got three and a half million times where people have been to a page that contains wrap. So that corresponds to that three and a half million occurrences corresponds to about 1.3 million people. And I can adapt additional terms here if I want and just see how that changes things. This allows me to go through and actually work with the data itself rather than having to become a data expert myself or recruit the help of you know, a, a resident data expert for my organization. Now I want to take it one step further though and show you something that's really bleeding edge here. Let's say, for example, that I'm not really sure how to construct those rules. I just have a vague idea of the type of person I'm looking for. In this case, I'm going to say people who search for or view vehicle wraps in the last 30 days, but haven't viewed the studio page. So I'm going to enter that text. And when I click this magic wand, Segment Scout's going to analyze that sentence look at all the key terms, look at the related terms, and then mine the data for how those terms match up and produce a segment for me that meets all of that criteria. 
And just like that, I've got this segment. In the last 30 days, we're looking for people who have been to a page containing wrap or have searched for vehicle or wrap, but haven't viewed the page with the name studio. And as easy as that, I've now got 106,000 people that I know are in exactly the right target audience and I can market to them. So that's a sneak peek into Segment Scout. Let us know by voting if this is something you'd like to see us convert from an experimental feature to something more fully fledged in product. Thanks very much. Thank you, Aaron. The platform has opened up so many different ways that we can interact with data. And making that data more accessible with natural language, with artificial intelligence, and then making it actionable by tying it back to intelligent segments that you can apply in real time across different market channels. Very cool. Thank you so much for showing us that sneak. And if you're interested in seeing more investment in this type of technology, please again look for the voting and let us know. We'll be watching for your feedback.